My name is Eileen Williams and I'd like to speak about my mother, Agnes Williams, about the plight and the uh, resilience of our Aboriginal women in the era of being under the Act. I always thought she was just mum. I knew she'd come from Sherberg, I knew she worked on stations, I knew this, I knew that. But because we weren't taught it at school, we didn't really know really how hard life it was for those women. It wasn't until I went to university to study to be a teacher and we had to do our first lots of assignment were the history of Aboriginal people. And I said, oh, this will be good, I'll find out about um, Aboriginal history. And then one day I was sitting in class and I was speaking about, they had this bit of reading from Jackie Huggins about how Jackie talked to our women. And then it says one part there, and Auntie Agnes Williams spoke up and said, see this scar on my face? They say it's sun cancer, but I believe it's from where, when I worked for a, the police sergeant at Kalani, he'd come up and say to me I didn't clean the pots properly, and he'd scrub my face with uh, steel wool to say, this is how you clean pots and pans. I was so devastated, i come home from uni, my money lived down the road from uni, I come in, pulled up in the old bass, ran in and said, is this true? When you And mum says, oh yeah, but I don't want to talk about it. And that made me get my interest more into what really happened in our history. Um, I felt that I should have known about this a lot younger than 38, um, because, you know, to be proud of my identity has made me a much stronger person when I found out what my identity was and and to know about it, and to know about what my mum did and what my dad did. She was um, 12 years old when she was taken away to work and the hardship she faced working for people on the thing. Then she came to Brisbane, met my dad, an Aboriginal who was what they called a free Aboriginal, he wasn't under the Act. And so they married, we had six children. It was such a hard life for her, bringing up six children. That was when the recession was on a long, long time ago and Dad had to go out west for work. You know, I know a couple of times we had soup bones and a couple of times we had bread and milk for breakfast, dinner and tea. Um, but Mum still persevered with six children. But her and Dad always insisted that education's the way. You, she would never let us stop home from school and Dad would sit with us at night and do our homework. And it, it's turned out for the best because out of the six of us, um, five of us, I could almost say the whole six of us are in education. There's three of us who, ter who did teaching, sister who went on and got degrees and was the first archivist in Queensland, young sisters worked in preschools and the brother, he goes and he's a cultural speaker. And I put it all down to the determination of my mother um, making sure we got our education. A lot of history has been written about the men. There is so much history to be written about our women.